Listen to the 48 Hours podcast for shocking murder cases and compelling real life dramas from one of television's most watched true crime shows. Go behind the scenes of each episode with award winning CBS News correspondents and producers in Post Mortem, a weekly deep dive. Listen to 48 Hours wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Bus Show. And in today's episode, uh, I don't know, something's going on with my uh, Wi-Fi right now, so I guess I'm just going to have to sit here and wait until, you know, something happens and pretty much, uh, yeah, you know, do videos, um, podcast episodes. It's just crazy, man. I don't know why. It, it like, right... And the crazy thing is, it was right when I was about to stream. Like, I'm kind of happy that I wasn't streaming and then it just randomly had shut down. But right when I was about to stream, bro, right when I was about to stream, that's when it decided, you know what? Let's just mess up. Like, it was working perfectly fine. I was listening to music. I, you know, went through social media real quick. I was on my phone for a little bit and then just out of nowhere shut down and i'm like i i don't i don't get stuff like that man but anyways um no actually what i wanted to talk on um was uh the fact that it's been three years since kobe bryant had passed away you know that day is a day that i'll never forget because you like feel the depression that's just going on around the world like i i had to say the last time i had remotely felt that was when uh Michael Jackson had passed away. I that's a day that I'll never forget either. I was like, it was, you know, to speak on them to it's like, you know, the impact that they've had on this world where it's like, you know, I watch like Kobe Bryant highlights differently and then I listen to Michael Jackson's music differently. You know, it, it's just it's crazy to think like, man, you know, these like these living at one point living legends they're not here no more you know so it's just it's it's wild to even remotely think that but yeah overall um you know no let's let's go ahead and talk on you know the day um MJ when he passed away and stuff like so I was at home and uh because I think yeah summer had just started and stuff so I'm at home and I remember uh you know just watching sitting down watching tv dad downstairs he was watching tv and stuff and um because me and him we be liking to watch like different stuff so i'll be watching like comedy shows like i think i was watching the uh, reruns of the yeah i was watching reruns of the um wayans brothers so anyways um and it's crazy one of the episodes like i just thought that that was like weird timing and stuff but anyways so i'm home mom and sister i can't remember what my sister was doing i know my mom was at work but she called me and was um and at that time i didn't really like listen to michael jackson i didn't really know who he was all i just knew is that a lot of people would crack jokes on him and stuff like i knew him i just didn't really like know him know him like you know like i wasn't you know like didn't know facts about him like all i just know is that he made music and that was it like i seen you know don't get me wrong i seen some videos of his like growing up you know that was something that um every halloween like going watch the uh the thriller video and stuff and um yeah you know it was just it was just to me it was it seemed like it was another day but then yeah you know you get that phone call and then all of a sudden you just hear well at least for me at that time you know being a kid I was like okay I get a call saying Michael Jackson passed away and I remember my reaction I didn't have a reaction because I didn't really know him like that and so I was like I'm not gonna be it and that's something that I've like you know I've always stuck by is that I'm not going to be a fake fan. Like, if I don't listen to their music, I'm not going to be all like, oh, my God, like, I'm such a fan, you know, like, afterwards, yeah. But then, you know, while they're um here, and it's, yeah, it's, it sucks that, you know, I'm like that. But overall, uh, um though, like, yeah, it was just, you know, you got that phone call, and then it was like, oh, dang. um So, no, I do remember, I was like, oh, I was like, wow, that's, you know, that's, that's crazy. I'm like, I'm sorry to hear that. And I just, I left it as that. I was like, oh okay like was was that it and so that was like my I'm not even gonna lie that was my genuine reaction because you know me being a kid like I wasn't even really listening to music um to his type of music like I was listening I think I said what I listened to when I was a kid I was listening to clean rap music so yeah that that's what that was my music like I should have been listening to Michael Jackson at least his music would have been a tad bit more entertaining and stuff so 
But anyways, um, but no, then uh, I was watching this episode. It was right after that call. So it was, I was watching this episode of the Wayne's Brothers where uh, Marlon pretended to be this basketball player to get on this plane. So he, um, so then a kid approaches him and was all like, "You, um, John Starks, that's who it was. He was all like, oh, I'm John Starks. And this kid goes up to him and he was all like, you're not John Starks, you're an imposter and all that. And Marlon gets up and says, boy, I'll send you to Michael Jackson's house. And I don't know why, like, that sticks out so much to me that day. Because I'm like, out of all the episodes, I don't even think, um, because what channel was I watching it on? It might have been MTV. It might it might have been a different channel, VH1, one of them. But it was like, it wasn't even like, I don't even think that news had really was out there and you know like popular and stuff and so um but anyways so I think I remember I think I went downstairs I told my dad my dad was like you know oh man that's crazy and then I I'm trying to think did he believe me at the time because he might have been on like no there ain't no way he was like you probably just saw that somewhere it was either that or he said that was crazy but I was like either way I think I remember I went online to like you know kind of read a little bit more about the situation and then yeah I was just you know coming across all these different articles all these different things and then um I think once with my family when we all got had got home then uh that's when we just kind of like we just turned to the news and then yeah they were like I still remember they were just like every just every channel just showing Michael Jackson like his music videos um you know you had BT like honoring him you had like every channel out there talking about him there was no way possible on that day that a channel wasn't going to be talking about him and stuff so yeah um I remember like you know just sitting there with my family and then just kind of seeing you know like his Michael Jackson's fans like all of their reactions to his pat or like yeah their reactions to his passing and then that's when you know you start feeling it like dang this is sad like wow this is you know this is crazy like this this doesn't even it doesn't seem real to see somebody you know because you hear like all right so that i remember it was the year prior bernie mac had passed away bernie mac he was one of my like all-time favorite comedians like you had him in a movie i knew that movie was gonna be good right and I remember, I think, you know, it just seemed like the news had talked about him. And then after that, it was over. And it was, you know, they were, there was just nothing else to say about the, you know, about him anymore. And then that was it. And I was all like, well, well, dang, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe channels were talking about him. But I just remember waking up them, you know, my mom telling me that, oh, yeah, Bernie Mac passed away. And I was like, oh, man, you know, I, I was sad about that because I was all like, man, you know, he was funny and things. But but yeah, with Michael Jackson, I was like, oh, wow, like this, this is crazy and stuff. And so then I remember the one thing I think it, it was because it just seemed like that news channels, like they just don't care about what they get and record. So, um, I mean, you can look it up at your own, like, you know, time and stuff. But if not, then I don't blame you. It's something like that. It's kind of eerie, like it, it sticks in your head and stuff, but I remember, and you know, you see, I seen it with Mac Miller. I seen it with a lot of different people where they have like their bodies um, wrapped up in things and they're transporting like their dead body, you know, to the morgue or to the autopsy place or whatever. And um, yeah, it's like, you know, you, you see that and you're like, hey, yo, why are they, why are they showing this and stuff? Or even there was the one photo that was going around where it was like, he was in the back of an ambulance um, truck and, you know, and he was like, you could tell that like something wasn't right. I'm um, talking on Michael Jackson. And I was like, what, what's, why are they showing this? Like, you know, that, that's, that's kind of, mm, I, I don't know about that one guys. And so I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know about that, but then, uh, yeah, you know, they did that. And then of course, like, you know, they were just talking about him, like pretty much, you know, about, probably all that week. Like it wasn't even probably not even all that week, all of that month, you know? And so, uh, anyways, I remember, you know, uh, that, and then I remember his funeral and then, yeah, you know, his funeral was just this, you know, there was one song that I couldn't really listen to his up for a while was uh, Man in the Mirror, because it was like, you know, it's just, it, it's it's like it's a moving song, and then it's sad, and then, you know, like, the man behind that song is no longer here with us, and it was around that time, so I was like, yeah, I remember, I think, um, they, it was, uh, um, when they were 
taking his um body to his funeral i think or at least his casket i don't know like i have a theory that i'm like no nah, it probably have been best if like they just brought the casket because i'm like you bring his body i mean i imagine that that place is probably like heavily um secured like it has security all over and stuff but you know you got people there that's all like oh i need michael jackson i need to touch michael jackson and all that and they're gonna get at a funeral and start acting crazy and things so that's why i'm like mm, I, I don't know like that's my theory but like if not then yeah it's it's either his he wasn't there and then they just because i think they did have like a private funeral for him like with his friends and family and then um but yeah with the public i'm like no people are crazy and stuff so but um if not that then uh yeah they just had that place heavily secured and stuff and so but no i remember when they were taking his body to the funeral then the news um station that we um that me and my family was watching they started playing man in the mirror and i'm like you know and i think that's always the image for the longest i had had of that song was just that and things and so yeah, it was, um, it was, it was wild, it was, it was definitely, uh, it was a wild thing, and then, um, you know, afterwards, it was like, then, you know, you start watching his music videos, you start listening to his music, that's what type of person I am, you know, and it's, uh, messed up to admit it in things where it's like, you know, you don't get to enjoy an artist while they're here, you end up enjoying the, the majority of them when they're gone, and then the only thing that you really did enjoy of them when they were here was, like, cracking jokes, and so, yeah, it's like, it was, it was overall, like, you know, I have to say, like, me being a fan, like, I, I, I can't call myself a legitimate fan, all I can say is that, you know, yeah, it's like, I, you know, I appreciate the music that he created and put out there, but, yeah, I just can't call myself a fan, you know, because I'm like, I, I, you know, I wasn't listening to his music every day, I wasn't watching his, I mean, I was watching his videos, and I think I might have had, like, uh, yeah, I think probably only song was the Thriller song, maybe, I don't know, but anyways, um, and then, yeah, you know, fast forward, that was back in 2009, and I was like, it's just crazy to think, like, I still remember all those, like, details and events and all that stuff, so yeah, fast forward, 2000, um, or, yeah, 2020 and stuff, um, today, actually, Kobe Bryant, he passes away, so that was something where it just, you had that same emotion all over again, but this time, you know, you know a little bit about this guy, like, you know, you grew up, like, I remember I had a pair of his shoes when I was in middle school, you know, like, my dad would be watching his games, like, it, is, it was just one of those things where it's like, man, what, you know, what is going on, but so, anyways, and then a another uh, crazy detail so that morning I'm watching basketball highlight videos so happen to have Kobe Bryant in one of those highlight videos right don't think anything of it don't think oh, okay you know in a few moments I'm about to hear that Kobe Bryant um passed away and stuff so anyways so I go and I eat my breakfast finish watching the basketball um highlights uh and then I, I remember I was gonna go off up in my room and I think I still got that video up too I was um I was um getting ready to play uh Destiny 2 and so uh anyways I'm playing it and then uh all of a sudden I hear my mom like yelling after me and she's all like I just um heard that Kobe Bryant passed away so I'm like whoa wait a minute time out uh uh no not Kobe Bryant no like, there's no way possible. There is no way possible. And then when she told me who told her um, that Kobe Bryant had passed away, it was a family relative that's known for getting stuff like that wrong. That's when I had started putting my phone back in my pocket and was all like, I'm not even going to waste my time looking it up because it's probably it's probably somebody, you know, that looks like Kobe Bryant or their first name is Kobe or their last name is Bryant. And then uh, and yeah, they overall like it's probably some guy like over in uh, like Cambodia or something named Bryant Kobe or something. I'm like, no, I'm not. Um, I'm not believing in that. But no, I, I, I still I went on TMZ. And TMZ, like, you know, to talk on them real quick, it's like those guys be on it when some stuff goes down. And it's, you know, the thing is, is this, like, now when I, like, see when TMZ when they post the article off fast the first movie that comes to mind and I honestly think that that's probably the most realistic movie to explain how them TMZ photographers be acting but there's this movie um called Nightcrawler and it has that guy I think his name is uh is it Jake or Jack hold on for a second Jake oh I think um all right so my internet my internet is working now but anyways uh yeah Jake Gyllenhaal 
he did this movie um called nightcrawler and it honestly it really shows you how these guys be acting like they don't care what danger they're in they don't care what's going on they're going to get their story so they can get paid some money all right so anyways, yeah, go on TMZ before any, like, media outlet can post it. CNN, uh, whether some local news stations, world, other worldwide news stations, other, like, websites, social media. It wasn't even trending on Twitter yet. And then, uh, yeah, you know, all of a sudden, you know, TMZ, they got their post saying, and that's when you know, like, when some stuff actually had happened, because they be on it, like I said, and so, yeah, they had, uh, they posted, they was all like, Kobe Bryant's, um, um, helicopter crashed, and yeah, it was like, you know, they was like, he was inside, and I'm like, well, then, yeah, you know, he, he passed, like, you know, you don't have no crazy catastrophic, um, accident like that, you survive, I'm like, no, he, he 100% um, passed on that, and so, then I was like, man, I was like, you know, it's just tragic, and it was sad, and I'm like, well, dang, bro, I'm like, this just it's messed up and things, and so, I think I still remember I went upstairs, um, was getting ready to record, but I had my phone on the side, and I was just kind of seeing any new details, more so seeing, like, well, maybe it's fake, maybe he wasn't on the helicopter, maybe, it, you know, they got it mixed up, or whatever, and things, but, um overall though uh no like then i just kept you know refreshing seeing then i saw the news um that his daughter was with him and then at that point i was like i just remember like my heart sinking and i'm like wow you know like that is that is some wild stuff man i'm like that's nah I was like, that's something where, you know, you don't expect to see that. I mean, you know, rest in peace to everybody that was on that helicopter from the other passengers, the pilot, everybody, you know. But it, it I think, you know, we, like, because that I remember that was something that was trending was like, we need to also pay respects to the others that passed away, which is, I agree. I 100% agree. But, you know, you're going to have people out there where it's like all they know is Kobe. And it sucks that, you know, we don't really know too much about the other people and most likely the good that they've brought into the world. But, um, yeah, it's like at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people are going to be on Kobe. They're going to they gonna be all like, well, Kobe passed. He was on that, you know. And so anyways, um, I remember I was like I was recording the video, the Destiny video, and I was just so out of it because I was like I saw that and I'm like, man, you know, like there's something that you just don't really uh expect and stuff and so yeah i was like man it's just that that sucks and then of course you know just all throughout the day you seeing all these like different you know people paying respects to kobe you know you seeing the prices for his shoes because um i imagine like if michael jackson has some specialized shoes yeah them people have been trying to resell his shoes but kobe bryant of course him being a basketball player he's gonna have some basketball shoes so um i re i just remember like going on reselling websites because no you could go the funny thing is you could have went on reselling websites because no it wasn't even i remember it was that early i think it was earlier that month or the month beforehand i wanted to get the shoes that i remember my dad bought me when i was in uh middle school i wanted to get those kobe's right and so uh and them kobe's are probably like let, let's just see on goat real quick how much they're going for honestly if they're not even going for that much I might have to rebuy those shoes and stuff because I'm like, I really, really, really wanted those shoes. I was looking those shoes up probably before Kobe had passed away. So, um, yeah, I don't want nobody all like, oh, you just only want those shoes because uh, cause Kobe passed. Because I'm like, nope, I want those shoes to actually wear them and stuff. So, is this, um, yeah, see, I'm not trying to spend that much. Oh, wait, they got like a nine and a, honestly, that's the thing though. I don't think I can fit no nine and a half in them shoes. Wait, what is this? U.S. men. Nine. All, all these shoes are out of stock. That's crazy. Buy used. They got like no original box. They got one. They got a pair that's like $403. How do those shoes look? Yeah, they look a little bit beat. They honestly, yeah, they, they look a little bit beat. I wish I could make this uh screen bigger and stuff to like really get a good look at them and things. But... 
And no, I had me a pair of uh, Kobe shoes, but I had messed them up. And um, yeah, overall, I got, I remember I got rid of them because I was like, well, you know, I ain't, I ain't got no use for the shoes with the bottoms. Look. Or I could just like scroll and stuff and just look. The shoes actually don't even look that bad. They really do not look all that bad at all. This is what, uh, oh, that's a, um, a 10 and a half. They don't even have like a 10. That's crazy. That is some crazy stuff and things, but yeah, I remember I messed up. I think if I ever do get me a pair of those shoes or if those shoes ever re-release, um, I definitely want to get me a pair and then show you guys like where it had messed up. Cause I was like me back then, I was careless about my shoes. Like I remember when I would put those Kobe shoes on, like I stump my foot in the shoe and stuff. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was overall, it was, um, it wasn't all that good and things, so... But anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, call it a day with this um, podcast episode. My dad's um, calling me right now. So, uh, but no, rest in peace, Michael Jackson. Rest in peace, Kobe. Um, You know, them two guys would be greatly missed. And uh, yeah, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.